By now, I'm sure you've heard about the drama surrounding WordPress.org and WP Engine. But what I want to talk to you about today is how the actions of one of the parties in the WordPress.org side has completely ruined the reputation of the entire community and broken the trust of the people who have been using that piece of tech for so many years. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, I had posted this meme on X or Twitter that says, I don't know what's going on with WordPress. And at this point, I am too afraid to ask. Obviously, I had watched the video made by Fireship, which summarizes the situation. Link to this video in the description. Big shout out Fireship. But the quick, quick, quick TLDR is that WordPress.org is in this battle, legal dispute, whatever you want to call it against WP Engine because WP Engine uses the work plugins and the open source contributions of WordPress and they don't pay any royalties. So WordPress.org said, hey, WP Engine, you have to pay us for using all this work. And that's created this essential cluster bomb of drama, which everybody seems to be talking about. Now, WordPress powers about 43% of the internet, and a key person to note is one of the original authors, Matt Mullenweg. Matt Mullenweg is the CEO of Automatic, a company that is kind of uh, the owner of WordPress.org, if you will, which is in this battle with WP Engine. So it's specifically Automatic versus WP Engine. And you can see here, this started when WP Engine is banned from WordPress.org meaning any kind of website that's on WordPress.org or WP Engine that uses any of the work that WP Engine has will no longer work. They have been completely banned by Automatic, who owns WordPress.org. And this, kind of, this caused a lot of failures, a lot of things to not work, which in itself is pretty bad, but it gets a lot worse. The next instance is this. This is actually, when I first saw this, I thought it was a meme. But it's, this is actually implemented. So if you go to WordPress.org and try to sign in, you're going to be greeted with this form and this new checkbox that states, I'm not affiliated with WP Engine in any way, financially or otherwise. This looks incredibly petty, but if you actually look into the DOM element of this form, it's actually associated to an HTML that says legal action. Meaning Matt or whoever is responsible for implementing this has full interest to pursue legal action if someone who is a fill with WP Engine and clicks it and still uses WordPress.org can be at fault and can be sued or whatever legal actions Matt and his team at Automatic and WordPress.org choose to pursue. Uh, but buckle your seats in, kids, because a few days ago, a account called Advanced Custom Fields made the following post. We've been aware that the advanced custom fields plugin on the WordPress directory has been taken over by WordPress.org. A plugin under active development has never been unilaterally and forcibly taken away from its creator without consent in the 21 year history of WordPress. With this picture attached with the plugin in question, and now owned by WordPress.org. And WordPress actually replied. WordPress stated, this has happened several times before and in line with the guidelines you agreed to by being in the directory linking to the guidelines. Best of luck with your version. We're looking forward to making ours amazing for our users using the best GPL code available. And there's interestingly this commute note attached that states, while the link guideline permits removing any plugin for any reason, including those not explicitly mentioned, WordPress's actions directly contradict the spirit of the overall guidelines and lack any justification for such actions in these circumstances. So there's a few things I want to discuss here right away. One is that it's complete blasphemy that an organization as big as WordPress has gone to this point of this monopolizing tyranny where it's just taking over plugins or the work of other teams and other contributors. This is one of the most tainted no-nos you can even think of in the open source world. But just in general, as human beings, you don't just take over someone's work and not give them any notice and just say, this is ours now. But secondly, 
the response by the official WordPress account, you can see this is the actual account. I'm one of the few people who seems to not be blocked yet um, that's making these posts. And this is where things go completely south. There are certain things that you can act on your personal account, but when you have an account like WordPress that is seen by the public, looked up to the public and have a community around you, there are certain ways you should act and shouldn't act. And the last week, this has gone on fire. And so what am I talking about? Here's an example of this uh, person, Laura Elizabeth, who says, guess I can't contribute to WordPress because WP Engine, thank you for being a WP Engine customer, attached is a copy of your most recent transaction. And this is kind of going back to this plugin uh, here that says, I'm not affiliated with WP Engine in any way, financial or otherwise. So she is making kind of like, oh, well, due to this form, I can't use WordPress anymore. But if you look at the reply from the official WordPress account, again, this is the actual WordPress account. They literally say, sorry, who are you? which is just like, I don't even know how to react to this. I've seen this so many times. I've bookmarked it. I've went back to it and I still don't understand how you can make this reply to just an individual who is, is basically stating, I can't use WordPress anymore by something you created. You made this rule and now I'm just stating I can't use it anymore because I'm a fine, I'm financially attached or, or associated with WP engine. And Laura says, you know, I literally have no idea how to respond to this. And just all these comments are like, I think everyone is just in a bit of state of disbelief of what is happening with Matt and the WordPress team organization and community. And it's just such a shame. And a lot of other uh, people who are well-respected in the community have chimed in here. DHH with a blog post that states, Matt, don't turn into a mad king. I hold your work on WordPress in the highest esteem, and I recognize the temptation of gratitude grievances. But that must remain a moral critique, not a commercial crusade. Really good summary here. I, I, again, link will be in the description of this blog post by DHH. And additionally, Primogen, who just had Matt Mullenweg on uh, his, uh, his stream, this is insane, and Matt should be ashamed. And then we got, obviously, the memes, F WordPress, all my homies hate WordPress. Um... And then WordPress blocked you is this damage control, which is just stating how bad the situation has gone to WordPress. We've achieved high level of memes at this point. WordPress is now blocking everyone. I'm sure I'm going to get blocked when this video comes out. Uh, but I really want to end off this video by giving kudos to Ale Loop, who summarized the situation in a way that I think is pretty, pretty accurate. A four mega profits venture is doing what every enterprise does using free labor, a free open source project without contributing back. This is in reference to WP engine. And then, then WordPress dictator, Matt, Matt Mullenweg started a scorch the earth crusade, burning everything alive to spite the greedy venture, including innocence. And this is exactly what I think is happening right now with Matt blocking WP engine work, taking over other plugins, and just kind of being an asshole on social media under the WordPress account. All in all, I think this is just a disaster for everybody involved, whether you're in WP Engine side, whether you're on WordPress side. I think everyone in between the splash damage is, is really the victim here. All the people that have worked so hard for WordPress and now are stating, hey, Matt, you're kind of going off the rails and just being blocked, getting their work stolen, and just not having their voice heard, I think is causing so much damage that at this point is not going to be fixed. I think the reputation of WordPress, the community around it, the trust has been broken. And Matt Mullenweg, all the years that he had created this image of himself had just went complete down the drain. But I want to ask you guys, what do you think about this whole situation? Is there something I miss? Do you think this is repairable? Who do you think is in the right here? Let me know in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.